thank you for joining me today. Uh, we are troubleshooting uh, the GVR uh, for Android with Unity. We're using a version Unity uh, 2017 1.0 F3, and we are using the Google VR for Unity uh, SDK, whatever. Uh, that's the one we're using. Okay, so with all that said, let me show you what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, we are trying to get our reticle to do this. All right, we want it to change colors and to enlarge. All right, so you see our reticle got bigger and the color of the block changed. When we drag out of it, uh, the color changes back, okay? And the same thing with this sphere right here. Uh, let's go through and uh, let's make something. So 3D object, cylinder, all right, so now we have a cylinder. Let's drag it uh, over this way. Uh, maybe over this way just a bit. Okay, that's good enough for me. Uh, now, what we need in here is to... We don't need to change any of the settings we have here, but we do need to give this the teleport script. The teleport script is what the demo scene, the GVR demo scene, uh, has. So if you go into... Google VR, uh, let's see, demos, uh, scripts, GVR demo, you have teleport. Teleport's right there. Let's drag teleport onto the cylinder. Okay, we've got teleport on the cylinder. And as soon as we put that on there, the teleport disappeared because it does. It reset back to its uh, original position. Come on. Come on, cylinder. There we go. I believe it has something to do with the script. So, there we go. All right, so now we've got it off to one side. We've got it with the teleport script in. Now, the teleport script controls two, um, basically two materials, because the only thing we're trying to do here, really, is to change the material of the block. Once we can figure out how to get that done properly, then we could apply it to other things like... Uh, you know, how to change the scene, how to do this, how to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and find the the actual materials. We're going to take cube blue and put it in the first spot. And then we're going to take cube red and put it in the second spot. And I hope you can see that around the camera. Let me, uh, let me move this over so you can see more. Um, yeah, let me... Minimize, minimize, minimize. All right. There we go. Let's do something like that. All right, let me check the camera real quick. Yeah, that works just fine. Okay, so what we have here is we've got our two materials, cube blue and cube red, applied to our cylinder. Now, the cylinder, if we hit play, is not going to change color because in order to... Um, in order to get any further, what we need is an event trigger. So we hover over this, and nothing happens. Over over the smear sphere, you know, it changes. The boxes, they change. Everything changes. All right. So let's make the cylinder change. And the way to do that is to add an event trigger. So just type in, you know, EVE for event trigger. And we've got that. All right. Now we have an event trigger and we're going to need to add new event types. So we go to uh, pointer enter because we want something when the mouse pointer or when the reticle hovers over the object. We want to add a pointer exit for when the reticle leaves the object. And then we want a pointer click for when you click because it will give you a uh, it'll teleport you it just randomly teleports whatever object that you click on will randomly teleport to somewhere the reason for uh, this particular script I suppose is because they wanted to show you different versions of how it works which is great okay so we will go to pointer enter and we will look for cylinder there we go and do the same thing for this one Cylinder. And the last one. 
Did I do that right? Okay, cylinder. All right, and then we're going to go to the functions, and we're going to choose some of the functions that were that are in the teleport script. So if we pull up this right here, uh, let's see, resize that. Here, I'll poke that out just a little bit so I can get to it. Uh, okay, so we've got the teleport script right here, and the particular um, the particular function that we're looking for is this one: public void set gazed at bool gazed at. All right, so that's good. We even have some debug logs in here to help us figure out what the code is doing. So, yay! All right, so. We want set gaze at, so let's go back into our thing here. We're going to go to no function, teleport, because that's the name of our script. Uh, so if you have any scripts attached to this, they'll appear in in this right here. So we want to do teleport, set gaze at, and then check that box for whatever reason. I'm not quite sure. Teleport, uh, set gaze at, because you know we're still dealing with you know that same function. But down here, we want a different function, and that function, ladies and gentlemen, is this right here. Public void teleport randomly. And uh, I even added a little debug log here that says transported, so that we know when we click the button and a transportation happens, we will have a visual uh, confirmation of that in our console. Okay, so nothing too crazy here, everything looks pretty. All right, now let's go to here and check uh, the teleport. Teleport randomly, excellent. All right, so all of these things are there. The materials have been created and assigned, uh, and we have our cylinder here. So if we hit play, theoretically, boom, turns blue first because cube blue is the name of the inactive material. Uh, for, you know, at least for the sphere and the cylinder. Uh, and of course, if, let me uh, click on the cube here. All right, so if we look at the cube, we see that red is the inactive material. So let me drag blue into here so you can see. And cube red. All right. Haha, <laughs> see that? All right. So now the, the cube is default blue and turns red when you hover over it. These are going to be red and then turn blue when you hover over it. Okay, so that's cool. The sphere changes color and now the cylinder also changes color. It's wonderful. It's the way it should be. Okay, so we know that that works. Um, might as well throw in a little bit here on how to use the, the, the new editor emulator. Okay, so if you're if you're new to this particular version, you need to use the GVR editor emulator, which is a, this little thingy right here. You can put it anywhere. You can attach it to your main camera if you want to as a dummy object of player. Uh, don't parent it to the actual main camera because for some reason it doesn't work. Okay, uh, so the GVR editor emulator is what allows you to look around inside of your develop environment uh, without having to automatically send it to your Android to check it every single time. Uh, and this is great, but if you are building to your Android, you really need to delete the GVR editor emulator from your scene before you build. Okay, when you do that, you'll no longer be able to look around inside your scene unless you add the GVR editor emulator back, but you... Uh, will crash your build. It just won't work if you don't get rid of it. So that took me a long time to figure out. So, okay, so that's that. GVR editor emulator, when you hit play, you can hold down the alt button and just move your mouse around, okay? Don't need to hold down any other button but the alt button, okay? And then you can hold down the control button and move your mouse and it changes the role. As a matter of fact, you can see the controls right here. Alt plus mouse move equals change yawn pitch, and then control mouse move equals change role. Okay, so that's perfect. That's what we want. Now, all of this is fine and dandy, I, but I really don't want to have to rebuild my scene inside of this scene because my other scene 
called face rig test uh, right here is in the same exact project okay uh, let's not save we don't need to save any of that uh, so here we have a sphere uh, right here and as you can see it has all of the basic components including the teleport script and the event trigger script okay um, that should be fine so hopefully when we turn this on we're gonna see the sphere turn red right okay should happen and it does all right let me go to my audio real quick I'm gonna turn my audio off so you don't have to uh, watch this guy all right so we'll try that again all right so there we go uh, we have the red sphere now here's the problem when I hold down my alt button I can still move my reticle around okay I can still tilt it that's awesome okay now unfortunately when I am outside of my build area or outside of whatever my reticle disappears not sure why and also I can hover over this all day and my reticle will do nothing I even tried it with a cube you know so yeah I can even try clicking on the cube nothing happens try clicking on the sphere nothing happens so obviously we've got some problems here all right so I mean everything looks like it should be working properly and why it isn't I have no idea so let's take a look at some of the other components we have here and see what we have so we have our event system which has an event system script which is great uh, and GVR pointer input module script which is also great without that event system you wouldn't be able to do anything so for example let's click it off and hit play alright I could still move around and it really just doesn't work or it doesn't do anything uh, of course if we turn off the GVR editor emulator we are no longer able to move okay so let's turn our emulator back on uh, let's turn our event system back on uh, and go to player so under player under main camera we have the GVR GVR pointer physics raycaster script everything is lined up properly all of these settings are correct under GVR reticle pointer uh, we simply have a GVR reticle pointer script and a uh, basically a small shader for that uh, and also the ignore raycast is checked uh, so when we go into the GVR demo we can look at player camera GVR reticle pointer ignore raycast okay so literally between these two scenes there is no difference yet for whatever reason uh, it doesn't matter if I'm it doesn't matter if I'm outside of my environment my reticle always appears it's always there so la di da I have been trying to figure this out for quite some time so if you have any idea at all what we got going on here and this is the Android Studio bundle 162 yeah so anyhow if it works in the GVR demo in the demo that came with the software why if in another scene in the same exact project it is incapable of doing something then it tells me that there is literally something wrong with the scene because all the code is correct and if it wasn't it wouldn't work in the demo nothing else has been changed there is no other script that's been added to anything so nothing's been modified nothing's been changed so I mean what can what can we say you know uh, so here we are back in our area we've got 
We've got our ability to move around. Sorry about that. Alright, so if you want to see what this guy is doing, let's go into... Change that. Zoom out. Let's see, where is he at? Where are you at, kid? Ah, there you are. Alright, let's zoom in on him. Alright, and he is set on a loop. So let's go ahead and go back to audio, turn it back on. Okay, so that's his deal. He's uh, he's a video gamer. He likes to play video games, and that's pretty much all he does throughout the animation is sit there playing video games, uh, which is fun. You know, it's it's what I wanted. All right, so uh, that I I really believe must be it. I can't think of any other changes that need to be made. The only difference between this and the other one is uh, a couple audio listeners, which I've already turned off. I don't understand what's going on here. So um, if you guys can think of something, please let me know. I'm going to post this to a couple different sites, and hopefully somebody can figure this out, because this should not happen. I mean, if it works in the demo in the project, why will it not work in another scene in the same project with the same scripts and settings? So, let me know. Thank you guys very much for watching. And uh, hopefully I can finish this uh, drone con before uh, the deadline, which is in two days, of course. Today is the 29th of August. And the deadline for submitting my VR animation to the Sundance Film Festival is... Uh, the 31st, which is late submission anyway. So I was supposed to have this done way earlier, but unfortunately I was not anticipating all sorts of uh, random problems that would happen like, oh, I don't know, my reticle not working. So, all right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and uh, hit subscribe and like if uh, you want to see more of these videos and I will catch you on the next episode. Peace.